What's up, y'all? I'm Carrie. And I'm Dee Dee. And this is the Carrie and Dee Dee Show. What's up, people? Today has been a very good day for me. I typically don't watch the shows that my wife wants to watch, but we were watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And there's nothing greater than a crazy bitch. And that Kenya Moore <laughs> is a hot mess. <laughs> She's loony. Something ain't, you know, wrapped too tight. Anytime you're going to, well, I understand your hustle. Because you didn't have a man, so you needed to be a housewife or getting ready to be one. So you got well, your fake that's man. That's the rumor, you know what I'm saying? Well, he was on uh, YouTube saying that he didn't know. Uh, well, he was on a radio station, yeah. not all you took it yet. So he's not her man, which mm -hmm. is understandable because that's the reason why she finds it easier to flirt because she forgets. That ain't her man, ain't yeah. Her man. I mean, I'm not having sex with him. He's not my right. man. Right, and that's what, yeah. But at the end of the show, because I'm in and out. I'm, you know, I can't deal with it. I don't like, re you know, watching people get rejected and screwed over. Mm. But that at the end, <laughs> there's a part that's going to last for all the Real Housewives. Somebody has to match this because no one will ever. <laughs> she says, some shit, and I'm still here. <laughs> going with the wind. I'm fabulous. And then she spins around and waves her dress. This, this, I'm this bitch is crazy. Back. She's crazy. <laughs> Looney tunes for real. I love that really. crazy bitch. I love her. She's <laughs> like when she did that. I was just like, oh no, <laughs> this show is just getting interesting because she's really <laughs> crazy for real, and you really got to pay more attention to her because she just caught us off guard. Like she's spinning around. She first she snapped her finger, <laughs> and then she went to turn it around like. Girl, Paige would give it a look like, oh, all right, like, <laughs> yeah, Preach. right. That this girl, like, it's crazy. It's it like watching a gay boy, you know, go, go in and let her, because <laughs> she said, I'm still here. I'm like, she didn't just snap her fingers. <laughs> she did. She is loony. But I love it. I loved it. And she, the way she and walked off. I think off, she stunned everybody. Like, yeah. And that's a different kind of crazy. Yeah. Like, she wasn't a typical crazy. Like, none of the other ones ain't never did nothing like that. So, it's like, she caught Needy by surprise, Phaedra, and um, your girl, Cynthia. All of them was looking like, My nose right. Because that shit was so funny. It was so funny. I loved it. I loved every minute of it. Now, there are a couple other shows that she wanted me to watch with her that were not good. Like what? Divas Live. Let's just say the Ad Adam Lambert show with the women in between. I just thought the sound wasn't right for the show. Like the something, the singing was off. The sound, everybody. Didn't I'm like, where's the divas? Where's J Lo? Where's the divas? Mariah. Well, they had Sierra. Sierra, Sierra performance wasn't that bad. She's in a Michael Jackson intro. Chuck's performance wasn't that bad. Went after everybody else, and the Whitney Houston tribute was a hot mess to me. I'm so sorry because. I don't know what they was doing with the music. I just did Look, not. Look, Lettuce it was like made it for the grandmas. All on page and, one. And uh, whatever her else, the other girl name, she was laid for the less, the less, less fortunate, and and the um, ooh, ooh. and the Taylor Swift. Oh, no. What was that girl name? Who did Sparkle? She was laid for the overdress. <laughs> she looked cute to me. No. First off, my girl Kelly Rowland. I love Kelly Rowland, but. Her she performance was like a third grader. To me. She was not. Her voice was too low. It's like she was struggling to sing. Oh my God, I love Kelly, but I'm like, what happened? And then Carrie Hilson is like, okay, whatever. And it's like, that was y'all tribute to Donna Summers. I did not like it. The sound was off. The singing wasn't on. Miley Cyrus did better than them. All of them. She did better than all of them. I yep. mean, I just don't. I don't know. What and was anytime happening. you got dark skinned people saying that she, Miley Cyrus did better. Then there's a lot of problems with the people who were singing. Lots. What do you mean, dark skinned people? Black people. Saying what? That Molly Cyrus was the best thing on the Divas show. <laughs> black people saying that? Yeah. Me and you. Like everybody. We're black people saying that Molly oh. Cyrus was the best. Well, let me tell you one thing. And she did good. But I'm when it comes lie. to me, it ain't about black and white. It's about who was good, who was not, in my opinion. I didn't say anything other than. When two black people say Molly Cyrus out of all them people oh, saying, all them, okay, that's and Molly Cyrus from Disney, they all did bad because they did. <laughs> she it did was very not, well. I love Molly Cyrus now. She, she was all right. She went all bad. She did good. She did good with her she song good, and her hair and all, all that was that. was interesting. But she was, you know, she was interesting. 
Yeah, they almost I just didn't like the tributes. The tributes on VH1, it just wasn't like what I don't mm -mm. why and why they couldn't pick Kelly Clarkson did okay. She that's what I was telling you about. Kelly Clarkson. Her but, song seemed like it was cut high in the mud. The sound wasn't right. It seemed like she was, was singing right. at, at she was singing on the five instead of the three or the, or the one you, where you can be a little lower and you have a little room to do it. She was singing on but the But she five. wasn't that bad because she can sing. It's like Yeah, I but know. it still seemed like she was pushing the to do that. The ones who I thought were going to do so good. Casey I'm like, oh, Anthony. I want to watch that because um, oh, all these people are going to be da da da. And it was just not good at all. The song was low and then they were singing low and it was like, Come on, breathe. I want Kelly Rowland to breathe out a big sound like Beyonce or something. It don't look like she could have pulled it off. I want just... the shows to be looking like the artists came in and said, this is what I do, and I'm not going to let you put these ugly ass dancers behind me. I want to show They where... don't have the patrol over it's there, like though. In the, in the old days, Janet Jackson get up there, and the show just, you know, five, four, three, two, and she was on. It was like, bam, 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 Janet, jam, jam. Yeah, yeah, because that was Janet. And New Edition would be on there. And then even Bon Jo... You know, people would be performing their stuff and it wouldn't look like a production. <clears throat> well, it looked like one. A TV a production, not an artist production. You know, like a concert production is different from those TV things where you got people dancing everywhere. Mm -hmm. Why are you trying to sing? It's, what? All right. And, oh, yeah. Update on that uh, story we were telling you about uh, where the woman was married to the guy who was beaten up and found out that, that he was a woman. That he ended up, you know, <coughs> yeah. a transgender man. Well, she killed her husband, who she found out was a transgender man. Man. She admitted, because we saw it on ID, that she knew that her husband was a transgender man. She just was so battered from him beating her up all the time that mm -hmm. she um she just went along with him. And play like she was pregnant and everything. I now that was just stupid. I'm just saying. Why would you? Okay, I can. I kind of understand. But you said it. You said, "Come on, this woman know." So mm -hmm. yeah, she did know. Um, but I just don't understand. Are you? Are you like crazy? Like why? Also, why you let somebody it? beat your ass like that? But first, okay, a lot of people. A lot of people um, stay in abusive relationships because. Either they're scared to leave or they just really still love the person and they want to try to think they think it's them that, you know, they think they have the problem and they want to try to fix it and work it out. I kind of understand that. I, I kind of understand that. But my thing is, I think this lady was starting to have mental problems because she is. Why would you even perpetuate the idea of you faking like you're pregnant? See that? I don't understand that. Why would you fake like you're pregnant when you know that your husband couldn't get you pregnant? Like mm -hmm. that part, that's the part where I think she was losing it a little bit. Yeah. Cause what, and or, or was she really just trying to do that to fool everybody else into making him? I think she was trying to appease him by, you know, by going thinking on, like she was pregnant, pregnant and yeah. going on with it. But people knew, you know, cause when you're getting beat up like that, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to go along some with some things. Problems. Yeah. You're just going to go with things so that I won't get my ass kicked, at least not tonight. So you think he told her to play, pretend like yeah, she was pregnant? Yeah, he did. He told her to play like he, she was pregnant. Oh, okay. So it would look real and everything. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm saying not real, but I'm saying the he only, was trying The to only hide. reason why last time we dealt with the fact that she knew what was going on is because it's idiotic for you to be in a relationship and you're having a sexual relationship with somebody and you not know mm -hmm. what's going on here. Right. And even if you're, you know... Like I said, you don't want your teeth exposed. You knew what, what was going on, and you can't lie and say I didn't. I didn't know that I was, you know, dating a transgender man. Mm -hmm. That you know, that's the biggest part about that. And I was glad that she came out and said, "I knew. Mm -hmm. I was naive. I knew. I just went along with." It. But she did love him. Huh? She was fr frightened. Afraid of him. At first, she loved him, and then she just it became fear. It, and from what they said, he was doing her. Lord. He burned her. He put a pipe he in her beat, vagina. He was abusing this lady, beating this lady all with pipes. And, and she couldn't eat. She lost I'm lots of weight like, because he was um, stopping her from eating and all yeah. kind of brutal shit. And it's decided like, like if she would want to still eat, like if she was making enough for him and her mm -hmm. so it can look even, he came up and would have gone. And and was like, Doing I'm going to all you. kind of crazy shit to this he was, lady. He was, he was all a wild dude. Psycho, baby. Psychopath. And look, he beat her ass. And every time she go to the hospital, she says she hit her head on the floor or she tripped and she fell. Big black eyes when she, she stabbed him, he points at her and says, my she wife did it. did it. 
Oh, that's some shit there. She cut you and you rat on her fast with all the shit that you done her. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, but she got off. She got a lie. Yeah, she because got it off. was self-defense. He she was beating her and she defended herself for once. Because he, she said he said he was going to kill her. And she killed him. It's just Well, he said he was going to kill her niece. Why? And she left him. and she said she ran to she the kitchen to leave. She bring her, you know, get her family into the mess. Mm -hmm. She ran to leave and he came behind her and she stabbed him. Okay. And, and killed him. Eventually, he was dead. But anyway, that was just a crazy story. I couldn't believe my eyes. I'm like, I felt so bad for her because I'm like, girl, why did you let this man do this to you? Hmm. She did that because she, I don't know. I don't know why she did, but I'm just like, no, you I'm know, so you, glad it's you over. Your ass with, I mean. And your father and tell now, you're coming, you know, come with us. And, and now she's that. remarried, right? Yeah, to a... No, she have a baby and everything. A baby and everything to another guy. Now she, she got really a baby. But anyway, we just came because that Real Housewives thing was a fool. It was it was amazing the whole time. And I thought they were moving a little slow. Yeah, I did. It looked too. like the ball was getting ready to run now. Yeah, because this Kenya is a hot mess. And I hope that she can come back next year because I know that she's not really a housewife. She's just a... Um, which McCall was not a housewife either. Candy. Candy. But she was engaged to be married to that dude on the um when she first came on, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and then they killed him off the show. <laughs> yeah, <I was> <laughs>